Hi, welcome back to my channel. Here's Bruce. I wanted to open up the video since he Hi. woke up. Welcome back. So these are my Hobonichis. Um, I apologize for not uploading anything the past few weeks, but it's been kind of uh, hectic, uh, kind of stressful with Bruce being sick and then doing things for my husband's business. And then um, on Monday, what you'll see in my cousin, um, I got some shots and that really took me out. Um, so I'm going to film two videos today. So one will be with my Hobonichis and then the second one will be with my Happy Planners. I don't have anything to share with my Traveler's Notebook Garden Journal just because they're uh, notes that I've been taking about my garden and there's really not much to see with that. So this is my cousin. This is my five year uh, A5 cousin size uh, diary. And uh, the only thing I was able to really do in here was just watercolor. Try to catch up with that. So let's start off with this. So I will show you. So this is for this week. I decided to go with, um, uh, so my husband went fishing last week. You know what, so let's go mid April because I think that's where I stopped. So let's start at the beginning of April. So this is my layout that I do for the week. And depending on how I'm feeling is how I decide to um, start off, how I want to decorate the week. So washi tape, stickers on top, and then generally I do bullet points. This is the first week of April. Uh, the stickers are either ones that I created or uh, they're Happy Planner stickers from their sticker books. Some of these are also um, sticker books sticker books that I purchased from Michaels and then down here is where I started to keep track of Bruce's um, ear medication this is a washi tape I purchased from Daiso and then this is where we started up a um, an additional eye drop for Bruce so I decided to kind of keep track of it here so this was for last week. So last Friday, my husband, um, he goes on a fishing trip annually, once a year. <laughs> annually is once a year. But uh, he used to go with his dad and his brothers. And uh, sadly, his dad passed away last year. Um, so this year, he and his brother went up to the fishing cabin. And so he left actually Saturday morning, really early. And so that's when we got up to, was uh, 2 o'clock, 2.30. Um, neither Bruce and I could go back to sleep. And so we just got up after he left. So this is was supposed to be my home vacation. So here I am, binging, watching Midsummer Murder. Okay, so now that would explain where we are right here. So instead of um, putting down a whole bunch of stickers, I decided to doodle myself and whatever happened this week. Unfortunately, I went and got my shots on Monday uh, per my doctor's request and um, it affected me a lot more than I had imagined. I had planned to do a lot more this week, which was to catch up journaling and to uh, write a lot more. And instead I spent the last four days sort of out of commission and just resting a lot more. So that's what each of these are. Bruce, in the meantime, was feeling better. Um, again, I, we started him on some extra eye drops for allergies because he might be, uh, um, have allergies like people. Um, and his eyes, I guess, are a little extra red, um, according to his vet. So we've been doing that, but he's been feeling really good. And for me, as of Friday, starting to feel a little bit better. My gardener came on Wednesday, trash day. But basically very, very simple. I had no plans to do anything other than to journal and write. And um, yeah, just spent a lot more time just sort of resting. So that is the weekly layout. Now let's go to, let's go to the start of April just so that I can flip through. So this is the start of April. Um, at the blank April page, monthly page, I generally like to do a currently what I'm doing currently for that month. But instead I decided to do a, just sort of a Easter um, 
layout where I just put down some images that I found in a magazine that my sister gave me. Right, so this is something that was cut out from the magazine. So this is actually, it actually belongs right here. Bruce and Kit Kat. My sister stopped by and brought me some food, so that's what these are. Magazine cutout. There's Cat. Sunday was Easter. These are some recipes. So my uh, cousin, and it's also slowly starting to thicken, but thankfully it's not too thick yet. Because uh, I have been putting a lot more photos in here as of late. So National Pet Day. And the days that I can't, um, I don't journal in it or have nothing to say, I will generally put down recipes that I find, quotes, um, interesting readings that I find in a book or again online. This is my mom with my sister's cat. And then this is um, from a magazine cutout. I think this was from a quiz. You okay, Bruce Bruce? You okay? Um, this is from uh, a quiz that my husband wanted to take, like a newlyweds quiz. So we've been together for a really long time and he wanted to see how well we would do if we answered uh, a bunch of questions and we actually did pretty good. These are, uh, this is a miniature rose that I picked up from Home Depot, I think in 2018. And um, so it finally bloomed. It was in the front yard, had to dig it up because we bought new roses to put out in the front and um, it wasn't blooming too well in the front yard. So I decided to dig it up, put it in a pot, and it finally bloomed again, and I just love this color. Here's Bruce and Kit Kat. There's Bruce's journal, his Hobonichi, which is actually right here. A magazine cutout. This is a plant that my husband brought home for me from his work. It's a bromelade, so instead of uh, Inserting a picture, I decided to try to draw it. So here's Bruce sleeping, sleeping some more. Here's a recipe. What is this? This is a one pod gingery chicken and rice with peanut sauce. It sounded pretty good. I don't know if my husband would ever eat it, but uh, I thought I'd put it in here in case he decides he wouldn't mind. That is a glitch in the... Um, I don't know if there was something on the paper when it printed it out, but um, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little glitch right there on his face. So this is April 25th. So here's, uh, I had just washed the blanket. Kit Kat, Kit Kat came in and Bruce didn't really want to share. So he came over to my side of the couch to sit and sleep. So I sat in the front and then there's Kit Kat right there. So you can see Bruce's face as I'm sitting here. So this is one of the roses that we bought. And <laughs> since I forgot to label them as we planted them, I am now going backwards. So we planted four. So as you can see right there, there's four little squares. That's four different roses. And as each one blooms, I will color it in with its photos so that I can match it up to one of, the, one of these four roses that we purchased back in January. So this purple one is this guy. Is this Heirloom JL Bloom, I think. So there it is. It's actually pretty. You okay? So this is me and Bruce with a bunch of selfies. <laughs> I'm behind the little sushis. Here are some quotes that I found that I really liked. Uh, so I decided to put it all on one paper. Uh, this I was using um, fountain pen ink. And then this was gel pens. And I don't use either very much. Uh, the gel pens for me seem to smear on the inside the Hobonichi Cousin. And the um, fountain pen ink that I happen I bought samples from Goulet pens a couple of years ago and I don't think um so if I use watercolor like on the back sometimes the, the ink will smear so it's not water resistant 
um, so I very rarely use it in here, but since I knew that I um, was gonna put a photo on this side, that I went ahead and used it over on this side, if that makes sense. So here's Bruce in the backyard enjoying the sun. And this was after his vet visit. Um, and uh, his ear infection was gone. So we let him stay outside a little bit longer to, to play and just to enjoy the, in the sun. So here he is. Uh, we started up his um, ear maintenance. So he needs his ear washed once a week in addition to his eye drops. And so he's not too happy with it. This is my May currently page because this is May 1st. So uh, I need to find something to put in here. But this is my currently doing and currently reading. And so far I haven't been able to find anything to read. But for this month doing, I'm planting my seedlings, still caring for Bruce. I'm working on my draft for book two and I've been pulling garden weeds as I can. So here's Bruce. Uh, this I cut out from a magazine about uh, Los Angeles original. So this is a really bad picture of uh, Saturn and Saturn's ring. So this is supposed to be the planet this wider part is supposed to be the rings. And then the black is obviously space. So on May 3, they discovered that Saturn is slowly losing its rings. And that in the next 100 million years, this is what the rings are going to look like. And so when I saw the photo, I thought it was going to be really easy to draw. And obviously, since I know what, I was, what it's supposed to look like, it makes sense to me. But I'm sure as you look at it, it probably doesn't make sense to you. So the sun's coming this way. So this is the shadow coming out. And um, yeah, uh, didn't it didn't come out as well as I had hoped. But oh well. Here's Bruce. Bruce feeling really playful. Um, this is a blue ball from Chewy. They... Um, sent that ball for free. They had messed up um, one of his medical pills. He takes pills for his heart. And um, the customer service rep that I spoke to was kind enough to send me a ball for Bruce. I thought that was really nice. And I wanted to write back uh, to thank them for that. Um, but there it is. And then you can see all his toys that he took out of his, um, he's got like a, a doggy bed. This is May 6th, so this is the day after that my, actually the morning of that my husband left. Bruce, Bruce, you okay? Bruce, Bruce. So there's Kit Kat. So if you look from my backyard, <laughs> that's Kit Kat. So this is a picture of him on my neighbor's roof. I think this is where he belongs. I think this is his owner's house, but I'm not 100% sure because uh, we don't talk to the people back there because it's behind us. This is a selfie of me and Bruce on Sunday. So there he is. And these are the um, Tobinichi, Hobonichi, the note papers that you can rip out. So this is the one I use. This is the one with the dog, the dog cover. So this is Monday. So this is the day that I got my shots. So there are my two band-aids for my shots. And then I stopped at Trader Joe's afterwards to pick up some salad for dinner and uh, lunch. And then I also stopped at Beef Bow for lunch and dinner. So I, may, I was able to make this into two or three meals. Uh, I did not eat this all in one sitting. And then here is a photo, my drawing. Bruce Bruce, you okay? Bruce Bruce. So this is a drawing of, uh, so this is a California king bed. So had my husband been home, he would sleep over here. So this is how we generally start. Generally, how we wake up, how I wake up with Bruce, his legs on me. So what I decided to do was I have this blanket that my sister gave me for Christmas and I decided to put it up here. And uh, it's a blanket that Bruce likes. And so he claimed it and went up there to sleep. And so it worked great for three days. So this is Bruce. So here's the blanket that my sister got me. And here's Bruce sleeping right there. So here's Kit Kat. Wanting to get up. Finally up. This is me. 
and here he is looking at me. Um, this is me right here, and he's looking at me. So on Thursday, Bruce discovered somehow, and I don't know how, that um, he wasn't sleeping beside me because he was up here. So he went back to this position. So he, during the night, would actually start here, but then he would come down. And so when I woke up Thursday morning, I was on the edge of the bed and his legs were kind of kicking me off. So I thought I would sketch that in again. And this is my favorite photo of Bruce. Uh, this is him. I was doing a selfie and um, he was just looking at me like this. And I just, I just really love this photo of him. And then today's Friday. So I don't have anything for that yet. And then let me show you, um, you know what, let me show you really quick Bruce's journal. So this is his health journal. In here I have uh, his, this is the A6 weekly supplement. And I use this to keep track of his poop and his uh, water intake. And then his flea medication. Bruce, 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 Bruce. And then down here is where I would keep track of his eyes. So, um, I can do it either one or twice, once or twice a day. And so I decided to try it, uh, I did twice a day. And then on Wednesday, I decided just to do it in the morning to see what happens. And then I started a um, medicated pad, cleaning his face. So I've been keeping track of that. And again, today's one uh, Friday. So that's what this looks like. And then this is the Hobonichi A6 blank notebook. I'm using this as his uh, medical diary so that when I visit his normal vet or his cardiologist, um, I can tell them on a specific day if he had his shots, when his last visit was, when he started a medication or when he stopped. And I just wanted to share this so that you can see that a Hobonichi notes blank notebook as well as the A6 weekly supplement uh, will fit in the A6 Hobonichi cover. And this is what it would look like. Bruce Bruce. Bruce Bruce. Humble, if you're watching this, he's playing with your chicken. Bruce Bruce. Oh, and he almost took off the peak. So in here, I'm just going to show you the things that I've colored because I have not. Let me do this. So I made my own pencil board out of cardboard and scrap paper. So these are um, national birds for different countries. And then if you remember for a little while, I was on a kick of doing um, the state bird for the United States for every state. And so I haven't had a chance yet to get this for a watercolor. But the one I wanted to show you, so I did watercolor these guys. I can't remember how far. I'm thinking maybe at the end of June, hopefully I'll be caught up and I will do a flip through from January to June of, of what I've done. <laughs> so if you remember this, I did a, um, every day I did a picture of an eagle. So when an eagle, it's first year, it's dark brown in color like this. And then in the five years, it slowly starts to transition to what an eagle looks like to us when we see it as an adult. So this is a year and a half. So if you look it up, you can see what it looks like. My drawings, my watercoloring, unfortunately didn't look, didn't turn out that great, I don't think. This is a two and a half year old, but you can see how now it lost all its, starting to lose its dark brown plumage and it's becoming a bit more white. And then it has this beautiful speckling of the uh, dark brown brown uh, color in its feathers at three and a half years. Now the body is becoming more brown, dark brown, and then the head is uh, still the white with the um, speckling of the um, dark brown feathers in its head. This is four and a half years and it's losing more of that speckling, but now instead of being like a pure white, it still has that um, transitioning color of the brown in its white feathers. And this is what an eagle should look like when we see it as an adult, right? So pure white head, dark brown body, yellow beak. So if you look at it, if you Google it, like I forgot now, like 
bald eagle, you know, from uh, eaglet to an adult. If you Google that and look at under images, you'll see what it looks like, and it's absolutely beautiful. Okay, so this is for next year when we have our leap year, and next year I'm going to be drawing the red whiskered. I don't know what I wrote. Uh-oh, I'm going to have to look that up. Here's my snake. This is a uh, penguin, so I found some photos on pixels.com, P-E-X-E-L-S.com. They are um, images for free that you can, um, I guess, use, but in my case, I am drawing the images. So here's just a penguin in South Africa, Cape Town, uh, just walking on the beach. And so the sun's coming this way because there's a shadow. This fish is a Garibaldi. Um, one of the, there's a pair of eagles um, on the Pacific coast. Um, oh, I can't remember which, is it the Channel Islands? Um, but they eat, they pull this out of the ocean and they eat it. So when you look at the bald eagle's nest and you see very bright orange fish, um, it's a Garibaldi, I think is how you pronounce it, but that's what it looks like. This is the blue-footed booby. I love this this bird. If you ever watched the movie, I can't remember right now. Now it's it's the birding movie with Steve Martin, Jack Black, and I think Owen Wilson. It's a really it's a really funny it's a great movie. Um, but there, his quest was to try to find and see the blue-footed booby, and um, I thought this was the only one, but apparently there's like four or five different types. So here's the red-footed booby. But his feet looks more orangey. This is the brown footed booby, but it actually has kind of like a yellowish yellow um, feet, but it's brown in color. And then this is the mast footed booby, and it looks like that. So it's kind of white with the black around its face. This is a white faced heron, which is basically kind of grayish. And did I color anymore? Oh yeah, and then I colored. So anything that pops into my head or something that I see, I will go back, right? Because this is in March and I will sketch it in. So this for me, it was supposed to be a fun doodling journal because um, I wanted to see the progression of my quote unquote drawing skills. I'm, I'm hoping to be <laughs> better in 2027, when I look back, I can go, okay, you can see an improvement in my sketches, but as you can see, I have not been keeping up and I'm not stressing out about that because this is supposed to be a fun thing for me. So I did watercolor this, the Abominable Snowman, Frosted Treats. This is in DCA, the Cozy Cone. I was into signage when I was doing these. This is the v Flow Cafe. This is the National Bird of Mexico. This is the Gray Jay. And this is where I started getting on a bird kick. This is the Red Crown Crane, which I haven't colored in yet. And I think that's where I stopped, yeah. So that is my, let me put this back in here. So that is a flip through. Let me get rid of this. This is a flip through of my cousin. This is Bruce's A6 Hobonichi. And then this is my five-year diary doodle. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Generally, I film every week. I've tried to this, this year, but it's just been really crazy and hectic. But uh, I try to upload at least once a week. I haven't in almost a month, I think. Um, but subscribe if you like to see after the pin videos of my, of my journals. And I will hopefully be back next week. If not, then I will see you when I will see you. So take good care, and I'll see you around. Bye.